instead of using phones and erasers, he used a large and small cannonball of different mass and threw the two of them off the Leaning Tower of Pisa at the same time. The two cannonballs hit the ground at the same time, even though one is heavier than the other, thus proving that gravitational acceleration is constant for all objects, regardless of mass. This is amazing! I always thought that heavier objects would fall faster than lighter ones. Hang on, a feather is lighter than an eraser, right? Yes. Then why does a feather take a longer time to fall to the ground as compared to an eraser? Great question! We had just been dealing with gravitational acceleration without significant air resistance. Now, let us bring in air resistance. Air resistance? Yes. Similar to gravitational force, air resistance is a force as well. An object moving through air will have air pushing back against the gravitational force acting on it. Air resistance gets stronger when the object's velocity becomes higher, until a point where the force of the air resistance equals to the gravitational force. Hence, total acceleration becomes zero because the force of the air resistance is equal to the force of gravity. Since acceleration is now zero, the object will travel at a constant maximum velocity, which we call the terminal velocity. 